Okay, Wednesday morning in the kingdom, and we got snow. Yes, we got snow. That whole province of Manitoba and some of North Dakota got snow. This is a slow-moving air system or a storm. Yes, it's excellent. We got lots of snow, and it's supposed to snow all day. Yes, it brings back childhood memories of growing up in southern Manitoba with the blizzard. Yes, here we are at minus nine. But feels like minus 19. The me phone's gonna censor me, so I'm gonna have to be quick. All right, on the F scale, 14 plus 14, but feels like zero. And we're not plowing today because more snow is coming. So we'll do a quick scroll this way. Yes, this way. Look at the snow. I had to get the shovel out to get into the hole shack to start the stove. Yes, and I gotta go shovel the doggy doors out so they can get out. Yes, unreal. But we got snow, and we got snow, and we want more. Yes, more. Let it snow all day, and let that wind blow it. Because we've been denied snow. Oh my, is it nasty out here. Kind of reminds me of my ex-wife. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Now I'll get a lawyer letter. All right, I better go before I get censored. Oh well. Okay, I'm in the shop here and I recorded. Not too bad. All right, so here's the snow drift we got. Yes, the camera, the me phone doesn't show you how deep it is, but you can see my tracks as I wiggled around and wiggled around to get to the hose shack to make sure the heat is on for the wood stove's going for the dogs. Yes, let's have a fun day and enjoy the snow. Wednesday morning in Whoville, it's just after 9 a.m. And look at that, winter has finally arrived in Whoville. It has been like this since yesterday. I don't think we'll be doing very much in the kingdom. I'm not sure if I'll even get the quad out today because there is a big snow bank in front of the house here. They were out grading the roads and they kind of messed that up. As you can see over there, they're supposed to go the side streets first, then the main street here. So that's not good. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out and make breakfast. Okay, we're over in the hose shack here, getting things figured out. Look at that. It's a nice snow day out there. Yes, that's plastic on the windows because we live in the Great White North. I mean, Wilderness, Alaska, but in Northern Manitoba. The only thing nice about it, the hose shack, it's nice and warm. And these lovely ladies are wearing next to nothing from clothing. And we can't forget Rex sending me a picture from California, his nice bike. Yes, that's what I wanted. Something of quality. Unreal. But I got the junk. Oh, well, I made a cube out of it. All right, so we posted yesterday on the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, because if it was my channel, I would post the video and then I'd make the comments myself and then answer them, but we're learning. All right, so the Polaris Quad here is getting white oil, so it's kind of the head gasket, okay? So you, I watched a video, there's a head gasket up there and then one down there, whatever, so there's two. So you look at 57 bucks, I think it was, I checked online. So 57 bucks each and get them up here. So, well, say 300 bucks. And then you got to take it apart. And you got to buy the other gaskets and everything. A YouTuber Kingdom follower, I mean a YouTube subscriber Kingdom follower suggested, okay, Blue Devil Head Gasket Sealer. White label, thermostat does not have to be removed. All right. So then he posted it, it worked on his quad. So I've never heard of this stuff. I grew up with the day and age where you put the uh, bars leak into the radiator up here and hope for the best. But the, we found out that it just goes and gets plugged up in the cores and everything like that. So I watched a few videos on the Blue Devil head gasket sealer. So the first thing that shows up on the YouTube channel is the promo video for the company. So they got some guy who doesn't blink his eyes and is staring directly at the camera that didn't impress me so i scrolled around and farted around on a google search i found a guy down in the southern states by his accent and the fact that he his hands were well tanned okay he made a very nice video explaining this blue devil head gasket sealant and explaining that on cars with aluminum motors aluminum heads this stuff works good and he showed how to do it i really enjoyed that video he had his whiteboard out with his colored markers explaining the system and the thing is he never showed his face at all because you're there to learn not to see his pretty smile or anything like that so i enjoyed his video so i gave him a little thumbs up and it was very good so i learned a lot about it so if we put that blue devil in the radiator up here it will circulate around for 50 minutes and hopefully seal it and that's what we're hoping that it's not worth taking the motor apart because uh, fix the motor and then the tire will fall off the wheel we found that out okay so the first thing i did was come out here top up the rad okay the radiator didn't take next to nothing of course it spilled all right so i went over here because i watched another youtube video some guy 
made the world's worst video, but it's the best video because he shows you exactly what to do. You take that snorkel tube off that cools the belt, and then down in there, there's a little nut or a bleeder screw. I don't know if we can see it there. Ooh, I'm hooked. Let's try the light. All right. So there it is down there. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of wet. Can we see that, Les Nesman? There it is. All right, so I cracked that just a little bit, and it's just straight antifreeze came out. It's not the air bleeder thing for the Polaris system. So I was very pleased with that. All right, so it doesn't take much oil to contaminate, I mean, much antifreeze to make oil white. So that's what we're hoping. So what we did now was I stuffed a rag, a white rag in there. Can we see that? And then we'll see how much antifreeze naturally flows down or whatever we'll see how bad it is because if it's really bad it's not worth it getting it plus if we ask sir rodney for the blue devil head gasket uh, sealant he can't mail it to us because them guys are on strike yes they're ruining everyone's christmas like they always do but that's the joys all right so we'll have to get this figured out so we're gonna this afternoon we got laverne plugged in so we're gonna have a, take him out for a little fun i think but i'm very pleased that's what our channel is all about is learning i would have never thought of putting sealant in there and the thing is i've never heard of the blue devil head gasket sealer yes that works out pretty good and the wood stove is burning very well very pleased all right so we got into a nice air system here also too we're opening the dumping the core boxes out to uh, feed the wood stove you know back up into the light yes a few more payments or whatever we can afford lights at that end of the shop all right so there's a drill core and it's split because that's how they did it they had a breaker that split the rock in half because it was round and it fit nicely in the box so this is high grade nickel from back in the day most likely by the size of this core it was drilled in the 1950s and it weighs a fair amount can you feel that last nestman all right let's go burn some lunch in the microwave okay i'm up at the house now and look at the flags they're showing how nasty it is look at the snow and then over here yes we got another extension cord yes when it gets cold they crack out all right so over here this will tell you how much snow we got when you can't see any of the dog poop yes the dog poop everything's well hidden and i had to shovel out their doggy doors to make sure they get in and out they have four of them so i did that this morning and you can see my tracks are how would you say almost gone but that's okay we're gonna take laverne out and have some fun Okay, I'm in my bedroom and this is the view the lovely ladies get to see when they look out the window as they enjoy two minutes of ecstasy. Yes, so here we got the plug-in right down in here and the cord, I don't know if you can see it, but it goes all the way over to Laverne. So my electrical skills being colorblind worked out because I've been watching and haven't tripped the breaker, so that means I did it correctly. So hopefully Laverne starts, he's kind of buried in the snow, but that's all part of life in the north. 12 30 and i'm just finishing up lunch and i heard sirens so i look out my door i'm not sure if you can see it i'll try and zoom in here there's a fire just up the street from me you can see all that black smoke not sure where it's coming from but i guess i'll go down and investigate wow there's two houses over on that street so hopefully it's not one of the houses almost 1 p.m and this is the temperature we're sitting at right now it's negative 8 degrees celsius which is 17 degrees fahrenheit we even have the feels like on the bottom it is still snowing and blowing wind here i was able to get the quad out hopefully i can make it to the kingdom that smoke you seen in my last video was a vehicle fire someone's vehicle caught fire when they were trying to get through all this snow now let's head inside let the dogs back in and head to the kingdom okay laverne fired right up i gotta stand over here because i can't stand under the canopy because it'll be nothing but echoes because that's the joys of a straight exhaust all right let's go meet the staff she's most likely stuck on the quad oh well just after 1 p.m and i made it to the kingdom barely made it over here i might have to switch to the skidoo and take that home today because this is kind of hard on the quad have to wait for my dad to bring laverne down with the drag because i can't get up the driveway so now we play the waiting game and i don't want to walk all the way up there here my dad comes with Laverne, he'll have to stop and grab the little tire drag and then he'll come down to the front gate and drag me a little path and we'll go up to the kingdom. Sorry about all the wind noise, it is pretty nasty out here right now.
one thirty, and I made it into the kingdom. Had a fun time getting from Whoville to the kingdom. Not much is plowed, and whatever has been plowed blew in. Now we're gonna go down the dog trail with Laverne and the tire drag. I'm gonna sit on the back of the tire drag and get some video. I'm not bringing the quad down because it'll cause ruts, and I'll be taking the quad back home because in theory, by the time I'm done here, they should have some more roads plowed, so let's get going. p.m. we just finished dragging the trail my dad's gonna go park Laverne in behind the house by the long trailer where it was parked originally that way we can at least plug it in we're not gonna unhook the drag yet since it's supposed to snow for two more days I'm sorry about all the wind noise it is pretty windy here no matter where I stand in 
keep the mic out of the wind you're gonna hear wind in our videos today but i'm very surprised we're able to make it down the north and south trail because they are just wide enough for laverne if we had the blade on we'd never make it just after 2 p.m we're back up at the shop we're gonna get the mini out so we can do some snow around the yard because we have to fill up the wagon and the wheelbarrow and we can't really go anywhere with the wagon or the wheelbarrow to fill anything up because of all this snow Almost 2.30 and while my dad does some snow, I'm going to fill up the two tubs. One will go back in the hose shack and the other one in the shop. These little pieces of plywood we put on to keep the snow out didn't really keep the snow out. And look at this big snow drift in front of the door. If he didn't have this little lip on the shop, that would all be right in front of the door. Now my dad is using the mini to clean in between the shop and the box trailer. Good thing we have a small mini, it fits in tight spaces. Just after 2.30 we did a bunch of snow, now my dad's gonna gas the saw up and then he'll start cutting firewood while I go smooth out everything that he just did. Just after 3 p.m. we got the wagon and the wheelbarrows filled. Now I can head on back into Whoville. My dad's leaving the mini out in case I can't get up the driveway, then he can drag me up. Hopefully I make it into Whoville and do the weather at 5 p.m. Okay, 4.30 in the kingdom and Jack is squawking away and getting... Jack, Jack the raven is squawking away and getting the dogs up all excited. So this is an excessive amount of snow. I think this is a lot and we have more coming it's supposed to snow till Friday but that's okay because our wood is right here we have the mini hoe yes we have all these cats plows everything like that and we're out here moving snow with a mini hoe but we pushed it out of the way all right so in here we made a management decision Ooh, yes it's nice and warm in here and the packed it fact is the mini hoe is in here now so this snow will melt and disappear into the gravel yes it will Trust me, we did this in the loader shed 30 years ago and it works great. So that's why we have to have the gravel over there because it just the, how would you say, soaks into the ground. All right, so the wood stove's going good. We have it turned right down. We're using, burning some nice quality wood here. Yes. So over here, a management decision was made. Yes. We have the mail strike. All right. So if Sir Rodney was to, how would you say, with that, um, well, Blue Devil head gasket sealer, okay? If he was to send that today, we could actually have it by Friday or overnight by mail, 1,200 kilometers from the south. Oh, I got the burps. I just had a bunch of peanuts. Well, I had my coffee. Yeah, it's with beverage. All right, so that's pointless. All right, we got a mail strike. So we could get this uh, gasket, or, uh, oh, the sealant. In two weeks time three weeks time or four weeks time so there's no point in having this in here so what we're gonna do is button it up okay put some truckers oil in it 1540 which is a no no whatever you're supposed to have that 1040 or whatever yada yada but to us the motor screwed it's gone so we'll put some truckers oil in so it's not too expensive get it up and running finish off the details on it like we have to correct where we cut it here to put the uh, fuel pump in so we'll duct tape that on so it looks uh, how would you say representable or rep respectable get it up and running and then tomorrow it can go outside and the staff skidoo can come in because i think we've gone to the point where we actually do need a skidoo because we usually don't get snow like this yeah usually in march we get the snow like this we'll have a good dump or whatever they say but usually we get in november We'll get snow in layers, you know, get a couple inches. We can drag, have fun. You can keep driving your quad. But to get 13 inches or 14 inches this rounder, yeah, and we got more to come. So I think it's, we have to switch over to the skidoo and we're going to have to figure out a better drag system. Yeah, for our trails. All right, let's get this quad back together and then we can have some victory drinks.
almost 5 p.m. and this is the temperature we're sitting at right now it's negative 7 degrees celsius which is 19 degrees fahrenheit we even had the feels like on the bottom it was a pretty nice afternoon but that wind with blowing snow made it chilly now let's head inside let the dogs out when i got home i noticed there was a snow bank on the corner of my front yard that's not good i walked there i quad there and i skidoo there they could have put it across the street over there plus if it melts that's all gonna come in my yard now let's end my day hey what's up kingdom followers sir rodney here live from west trans uh, just fresh off my holidays. I just got back from Vancouver where we went to the Grey Cup to unfortunately watch my team lose, but um, we still had an awesome time. Uh, there was one nice day of weather in Vancouver. Everything else was wet and rainy, um, but Vancouver was beautiful. Uh, it was a very nice city, a very clean city. I had a lot of fun. I drank way too much. I spent too much money, but I met some nice people and um, here I am back at work trying to pay for it now. So I thought I'd jump on and say hi to all of you. Also too, I got a birthday card in the mail while I was gone. My birthday was a couple, a few weeks ago or whatever. So thank you very much to Lee and I think it's Marge. They sent me a birthday card. They sent some funny memes here. I'll show you guys that. That one was glad I didn't see that before I flew home like that. And also sent me $20 of the funny money. So now I got to go to Fargo to go to Culver's and get a burger again. Because that's my favorite place to spend 20 bucks. Alright guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Don't forget we have the merchandise for sale. Christmas is coming. You guys all know how to get a hold of me if you want a t-shirt. Or a toque or a coffee mug. Anything like that. Get a hold of me and I will send it out to you. So thank you and we'll talk to you all later. Okay, 5.30 in the kingdom, we got this thing put back together so we can go out to the shed. Yes, the skidoo shed. We'll park it in the skidoo shed. All right. So what we did was we put the oil back in. Okay, we didn't put a new filter or anything like that on. And this time, we put the oil in in the top here. Because you take the seat off and you use a fancy funnel or, and you can put the oil in the top. We took the main uh, oil cap off. It was pure white, like Casper the Ghost. Usually we put the oil in down there on the other side where the dipstick is and we use a, a flexible funnel so basically this thing is white and i don't have much hope for it but we'll just to get it started running and drive it over to the skidoo shed and we'll worry about it later all right so we did some duct taping we taped it together so it looks better you know for resale value yes yeah, so with a with a white uh, oil motor we made a note here for future me okay so I always deal with me, sober me and drunk me. Now we have to deal with future me. Yes, in the future. And we put some uh, tape on here because the staff was having problems with the chain getting in these links, which only makes sense because that's just a natural locky thing, right? So that works out very well. So this thing will be out of the shop or the hose shack and then we can bring the staff skidoo in because that's a lot of snow we have gotten and we're very impressed and very pleased because now we can have fun with the cats and the sleighs. Oh yes, and the Lynn tractor. Okay, I can't walk out in the middle of the yard because the snow's too deep. I don't have my skidoo boots on. Yes, my skidoo boots on. Yes, all right, so I'll stand here where we plowed and there's no sense getting fancy plowing because this is uh, funny textured snow. So you move it once and it'll firm up. We need some cold weather. It's actually nice out here. All right, look at that. We stocked up the stoves. All right, let's go uh, see what we're doing over here. We should be able to go walk the dogs because we plowed the trail. Yes, that's the totally the wrong way of doing it. We do not promote tires as drags, but the snow was deep and the dogs have to walk. And plus, you got Mother Nature with their other animals who use our trails too. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, make a video, and we'll talk to you later.